Earth, a planet with extraordinary beauty, vibrating with an abundance of life forms. The presence of air, water, soil and life has made this planet second to none. Blessed with oceans and greenery, this blue planet is living and unique. Life, as seen today, is the result of millions of years of evolution. The rich biodiversity is the result of the stability that exists among the various climatic regimes of the Earth. Though the vast, cold and arid deserts of the world are relatively less suitable for life, yet they play a major role in maintaining the overall climatic balance of the Earth. The snow-capped peaks of the Himalayan range to the north the numerous perennial rivers that originate from its glaciers, the vast Indian Ocean further down south, and there lies the northeastern part of the Indian subcontinent. The Brahmaputra and its tributaries, carving deep gorges through the Himalayas, traverse hundreds of kilometers to flow into this region spread over an area of 13,870 square kilometers on both banks of the mighty Brahmaputra is the state of Assam. The seasonal southeast monsoons cause heavy rainfall of more than 200 centimeters due to the unique location of the state between the Meghalaya Plateau and the Himalayan ranges. Apart from the rivers, more than 3,500 natural wetlands spread over an area of about 1 lakh hectares store this rainwater, thereby enriching the soil moisture in the region. Along with the Brahmaputra and the Barak river valleys, the hills and plateaus of the region have played an important role in giving birth to its diverse floral life. About 4,400 species of flora are found in Assam. The regions in southern and eastern parts of Assam, which receive an average annual rainfall of more than 230 centimeters, are dominated by tropical wet evergreen forests. On the other hand, the western region of the state is mostly covered with tropical moist deciduous forests dominated by salt trees. The transition zones between the two forest types are dominated by semi-evergreen forest patches. Different types of grasslands are found in the floodplains. Various species of bamboo, shrubs, freshwater mangroves, creepers, climbers, herbs and orchids too contribute to the enormous biodiversity of the state. The Himalayan biodiversity hotspot lies to the north of the Brahmaputra River, while the Indo-Burmese biodiversity hotspot lies to its south. From the zoogeographical point of view, Assam is the meeting point of the Indo-Chinese, Indo-Malayan and Indian biogeographic region. This has a significant influence on the diversity of the state's flora and fauna. To ensure the in-situ biodiversity conservation, a network of protected areas has been established throughout the state. This network includes five national parks and 20 wildlife sanctuaries. The state is home to four tiger reserves, Kaziranga, Nameri, Orang and Manas. Further, Manas and Dibru Saikwa have been accorded the status of biosphere reserves. Kaziranga and Manas are recognized as UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Fifty years ago, Kaziranga was home to a meager 20 rhinos. But due to successful conservation, we can see more than 2400 rhinos today. As a result of this, we can see translocation of rhinos to other areas as well. On the other hand, the presence of the smallest pig, pygmy hog, his pit hair and golden langur has bestowed a special status to Manas. 
The Wildlife Protection Act of India 1972 and its subsequent amendments categorizes the country's flora and fauna into various schedules. Of this, the rare and endangered fauna are listed as Schedule 1 species. The state is rich in terms of primate species. The golden langur, parrier's leaf langur and capped langur, the three long-tailed species, the short-tailed and medium-tailed macaques like the Assamese macaques, pig-tailed macaques and stump-tailed macaques. Likewise, the two tailless primate species, slow loris and hulog gibbon are found only in northeast India. Sometimes many large wildlife species like the tiger and rhino are found in and around the villages along with suitable migration routes in the state. The tea gardens, hillocks, dense forests, bamboo patches, etc. are the habitat for six Schedule 1 cat species including the leopard and the clouded leopard. The spotted linsang and the binturong or beer cat and three beer species found in the region, the Asiatic wild buffalo and the gore, swamp deer, the river dolphin and the clawless otter also belong to the category of Schedule 1 species. A large variety of flora and fauna which are not generally found in the Indian biogeographic region are also found in Assam, like the Holong tree found in the rainforests of Assam and recognized as the state tree, and the rare and endangered bird white-winged wood duck recognized as the state bird. Similarly, the endangered Chinese pangolin, Chinese porcupine, as well as various varieties of fishes which are found in Assam are also a part of the Indo-Chinese region. About 197 species of fishes are found here, among which the golden marseer is an endangered species. The protected areas of the state are not the only home of its rich biodiversity. Rather, an abundance of biodiversity is found outside this network of protected areas as well. Birds such as the greater adjutant stalk, a globally endangered bird, along with Schedule 1 bird species like the Bengal florican, many species of hornbills, vultures, birds of prey, hill miner, white-bellied heron, the large whistling teal, etc. are regularly seen outside the region's protected areas. Out of the 900 odd bird species found in Assam, about 280 species are migratory. The wetlands are filled with a large number of local and migratory birds during winters. Routes used by many bird species to migrate over thousands of kilometers have been established through scientific studies. Come winters, these amur falcons migrate from South Africa over more than 11,000 kilometers without any halt to reach northeast India is a record in itself. Trees which fall into the rivers due to bank erosion provide an ideal habitat for many turtle species. Assam is home to about 116 varieties of reptile species, including many endangered and endemic species. This includes many species of arboreal, aquatic and terrestrial, venomous and non-venomous snakes, lizards, skinks and tortoise. Python is found extensively throughout the state. One species of crocodile and three of the monitor lizard species of Assam are categorized as Schedule 1. Numerous amphibians from small to big abound the various biomes of the state. The conservation and sustainable development of these biodiversity ensured that Assam has tremendous scope to develop the tourism sector as well. This is the Maguri wetland in Tinsukia, the northeasternmost district of Assam. A tourism establishment is born out of the efforts of the villagers. The existence of an intimate relationship between the villagers of Barikuri near Maguri 
with this family of hula kibbins helps attract many tourists to the village the social and religious aspect of the human wildlife relationship that exists in the country plays a critical role in ensuring the conservation of many wild species likewise the asmi society too is bound to nature through many religious and auspicious rituals the elephant and the largest herbivore occupies a special place throughout the region the respect and compassion for wildlife that exists among the indigenous communities in some of the regions of assam is exemplary for the common people to avoid conflict with wildlife in such regions a harmonious relationship is seen to exist between humans and nature dictated by sustainable dependence on natural resources for livelihood sustenance floods are annual natural phenomena of the state floods become a struggle for survival for numerous wild fauna and contribute towards the survival of the fittest among the lot fishing plays an important role in the livelihood of the people of assam the traditional means and tools used for fishing by locals ensure the least possible damage to the ecology in recent times angling has become a popular sport among tourists many local fruit varieties with high nutritious value are found in assam among these bananas with more than 20 varieties and citrus fruits occupy an important place apart from these the state is home to numerous indigenous rice varieties and they are the basis for the development of many high yielding rice varieties similarly local varieties of domestic cattle poultry etc too play a critical role in the culture life and livelihood of the people of the state assam is also a center of cultural diversity being home to various community and tribes state flower foxtail orchid occupies a special place in the cultural life of assam the atlas moth the largest moth in the world with a wingspan of about 10 inches is often spotted in the local habitats the endemic wild silk moth varieties such as airy muga and tussar along with mulberry silk a domestic variety locally known as pat are playing an important role in the development of the state's sericulture industry many plants with medicinal value are found in the state a number of illnesses can be cured with the right use of such medicinal plants there is tremendous scope for the conduct of scientific research in this field assam's tea industry not only contributes significantly towards the state's economy but also provides for an extensive green vegetation cover the modern lifestyle has almost severed the umbilical cord that the people of the region used to share with their traditional knowledge system and their natural landscape today legislations such as the biodiversity act of 2002 assam biodiversity rules 2010 mandate the documentation of the locally available bio resources these rules and acts are aimed at providing the ownership of resources to the local communities and thus ensure their conservation and sustainable use the responsibility of creating a sustainable earth is now on the shoulders of all the people around the globe in tune with this responsibility there is an ongoing process of creating awareness among the locals regarding their rights over their resources with the help of the young generation The sole objective is to conserve, preserve and protect this unique invaluable planet Earth for the posterity. <laughs>